My name is Bob. I, um, I'm an electric bike enthusiast, I should say. The bike itself is a mountain bike built by Fuji. Uh, it is a fully suspended uh, air shocks, rear shock, uh, front shocks. Uh, it, uh, it does not have the uh, disc brakes, it had the V brakes. Uh, if you're going to have an electric motor on there, you, the front has to have the V-brake. Um, as far as the uh, motor being a front-mounted hub motor, you can get them also in the back. Uh, the speed controller is mounted here. Uh, this happens to be a 48 volt, uh, 25 amp. Uh, controller. I've got a thumb throttle up here at the top. I prefer the thumb throttle over the twist throttle. Uh, it's a matter of preference. The, uh, the batteries, like I said earlier, uh, are mounted here in between the cranks uh, for the uh, balance of the bike and weight distribution. It makes the bike ride a whole lot smoother. Uh, originally, when I bought the bike, uh, when I first set up the electric system, uh, I used lead-acid batteries, which was all that was available to me at the time. This has been about five years ago. And uh, uh, I have since got Nylar batteries that I'm utilizing, and they have just been a real joy as far as uh, the cutting the weight of the bike uh, with the lead acid batteries, it cut the weight right in half as, as far as the batteries are concerned. Lead acid batteries are twice as heavy. Distance wise, I've been able to run this particular setup with the 48 volt system uh, anywhere from 30 to 40 mile. I can get to as much as uh, 30 miles an hour with no pedaling. If I average uh, around 14 miles an hour, Riding, I can uh, go in easy 30 miles, and in, depending on the uh, terrain, uh, I can go 40 miles on one charge. These uh, Nylar batteries outperform the lead acid batteries as far as uh, the mileage that I get. Uh, they also, as far as the cycle life, are a lot better, and I'm saying probably twice the life of a lead acid battery in cycles and I, I'm very happy with them to this point.